Hello my friends, Natasha with Natasha Crabbe Corner uh, and today I'm coming to you with um, another mixed media uh, project. Um, lately I'm watching a lot of YouTube videos and um, um, on, a, uh, on a wave of um, love summer art um, hashtag love summer art um, uh, I uh, get into know so many other different um, crafters, uh, mixed media artists, and uh, I always wanted to um, get into mixed media and wanted to go uh, and try journaling. So uh, I guess I'm slowly developing <laughs> and uh, getting more uh, at home with with this. Um, style craft style okay so um what you see it's uh um mail art it's um altered envelope and i had few of those already done over you know a couple of years um can't think of the name of um of the channel I think her name was Linda um, and she was the one who introduced um, YouTube um, to the male art as far as I know um, after her their male art, art actually took off and a lot of people trying it so um, I have a little um, postcard that I want to um, send to someone and um, I decided it's gonna be perfect in a mail art art mail envelope okay so basically I took regular white um, envelope and I had oopsie I knew it already had it knocked out a couple of times um, <clears throat> I had um, the scrap of tissue paper, white tissue paper, um, just laying on my desk and I crinkled it and uh, put it with a match podge over the whole envelope. So the texture of the envelope is um, a crinkled, um, um, crinkled um, tissue paper which I absolutely love. It got those creases and everything so it's beautiful uh, background. Um, then I uh, started to look through the magazines and I found this girl and um, I liked her um, and uh, then I stumbled up on the background and actually background is um, a cosmetic bottle in that brown you know bottle shape um, I cut that shape in in the middle and cut you know the bottle out and overlapped so uh, basically what happened whatever scraps of the image of the bottle they are underneath of that girl but um, that aurora um, the light that was coming from that bottle um, I used um, um, on her you know on her background and uh, when I was tearing off this piece uh, on the back of the magazine they had the jewelry piece um, and I thought whoa it's kind of cool because it's color coordinates <clears throat> so um, I much botched those in and um, then I stamped I used reverse a script Tim Holtz stamp. I don't have any other, you know, scraped stamps. So I just stamped it on the edge. 
and I put um, the postmark stamp it's one of my old wooden um, stamps that I have in my stash and it has you know the stamp and the dates and everything because it will be cool you know when it's closed uh, so it's kind of has um, postage already but um, I'm not gonna be sending it because I added this beautiful uh, 3D uh, very much 3D um, texture and <clears throat> for the color on the uh, background and everything I used a couple Lindy uh, Lindy stem gangs. Um, I use this one. I wouldn't even try to pronounce, <laughs> and this one. So those two. I got a bug flying all over the place. Um, so I just sprayed it and I uh, used a little bit of uh, Martha Stewart um, powder, um, sparkly powder. So when it's all, uh, the Mod Podge was wet, I just, you know, glittered it a little bit. For the texture of this uh, flowers, did I get it? Um, you're gonna laugh, but <laughs> that's what all um, recycling is all about. Um, do you know those containers of uh, the um, ar aroma containers? And they're like liquid bowls, like almost like caviar. They're wet, and you need to peel off the top of the jar, and they have the screw top. And that's what the top was look like and I saved a few of those and because it's like thick you see the thickness uh, it's probably under just slightly under a quarter of an inch just very slightly um, so it's thick plastic that's why now uh, when I was uh, uh, using the modeling um, paste I mixed in just a little bit at first and when I applied the first part of the flower I realized it's gonna be a very thick layer so I mixed in some more and by mixing in I um I was I put um some of the paste and it's white, right? It's white originally. So I put some of the paste on my mat in here and I just basically spray it with the lindies and mix it up with a uh with a patchler and then edit uh, Martha Stewart um uh, sparkly powder to get the shimmer although Lindy's give the shimmer itself and I finished um, you know layering this beautiful flower and yeah it's quite thick and on that corner I had just a little bit left and I texture it just like that um, and I had a little bit left so I didn't want it to go to waste so I grabbed the cardstock and I hit it more so I can actually um, you know cut out and use it as an embellishment for something else so that was kind of cool find um, so look for you know 
any textures that around you you can use lace or whatever so it's all texture and that's basically it on the front right um, I had the clear stickers as spelled male art and just highlighted with a sharpie I do not have those fancy markers so I need to learn more about the stuff that I need to buy and on the back um, I um, stamped this is romance and has the script it's one of the creative memories I do believe stamp and it has several images and um, the uh, phrase was find what brings you joy and go there so this is what I chose for the phrase and when you close I decided to make a seal but I didn't have enough of modelin paste so I basically put my um, stencil and I sprayed it with the Lindy's to create kind of like a seal. So this is my male art. I absolutely love how it came out. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the pictures. Talk to you later. Bye.